Now, Isaac Newton also told us how things move when, they're, when they experience forces, like the force of gravity that you're all familiar with. And I want to show you this next demonstration. I want to use one of my favorite pets. This is my pet monkey. His name's Darwin. And uh, we're going to put Darwin up in the tree. So let's imagine we're all out in the jungle. And uh, there's a monkey up in the tree. Now, back in the old days, people used to go out with guns, and they would hunt monkeys and shoot them. But we're not supposed to do that. So let's imagine that Darwin is a circus monkey, and he's up on the high wire. And instead of shooting him, we're going to toss him a coconut and see if he can catch the coconut. So here's going to be our coconut, this little thing right here. And uh, we have back here a gun that actually shoots the coconut. Now, the, uh, Darwin is a very smart physics monkey, and he realizes that the coconut, although it's aimed exactly at him now, is, is not going to go in a straight line. It's going to fall because of the force of gravity. And in fact, the coconut's going to be out here somewhere. So Darwin realizes that he'll never catch the coconut unless he drops from the, from the high wire at exactly the right time. Well, he's a physics monkey, and he understands the right time is exactly when the gun fires because he knows that he will fall the same distance as the ball falls in the same length of time. So uh, that's Darwin's strategy. So let's load the gun. It's a spring-loaded gun. And uh, we're going to turn it on and see if Darwin can catch the coconut. That's my favorite pet monkey, Darwin. And now he's gone. Gee, I hope I see him again later on. <laughs>